I don't want to buy a 27-year membership in your gymnasium. Hello? No, this is not Feinblatt's Deli. Hello? No, I don't want a subscription to Pigeon Breeders Monthly. I already have one. I wouldn't go in there if I were you. Yes, I know I'm out of shape, and I still don't want to buy a 27-year membership in your gymnasium. John's trying to come up with an idea for a new comic book for Mr. Barker. Huh? The phone again! Oh, it's not going well. I don't care who you are or what you want. Whatever it is, I'm not going to buy it. Stop calling me, you idiot! Stop! <laughs> oh, hello, Mr. Barker. <clears throat> I just called to see how that new idea is coming, Arbuckle. It's... it's... I'm sorry, Mr. Barker. The phone keeps interrupting me. I can't think. John can't think. There's late-breaking news. Oh, I understand. Why don't you do what I do, Arbuckle? Get away. Go where there's no phone. I'd love to, but, well, I can't afford a trip just now. Hey, I just acquired an old house up in the mountains. My business manager bought it cheap as an investment. I haven't been to see it, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't have a phone. I can go up there and work and I won't be interrupted all the time? <laughs> Great! Make arrangements for Arbuckle to stay in that house I just bought. But isn't that house supposed to be haunted? This is great. I have to go pack. Oops. Forgot to eat my pizza. Hey, you can forget to eat your pizza, but I won't forget to eat your pizza. Oh. The phone won't bother me. Nothing will bother me. And we won't leave until I get a terrific idea for a new comic book I can present to Mr. Barker. <laughs> No, I'm not worried about running out of food. You know that catering truck that's always down the street at the construction site? Uh-huh. While John was packing, I added on a little. Well, take a look. <coughs> hmm, Mr. Barker's secretary said the key was under the doormat. Hey, don't act so happy, Odie. I happen to know that this is... a haunted house. Just take a look at the title of this episode. Could I have a copy of the script we're doing now, please? The Garfield Show, episode 202, The Haunted House. <laughs> We better get inside and rest up. Looks like a big chase scene on page nine. Thanks. Oh, this is great. There's no phone to ring and interrupt me. I can work without being disturbed. I don't have an idea yet, but once I get one, watch out. Oh, don't worry, Pop. Ghosts can't hurt you. They can only make you hurt yourself. Garfield, is that your stomach rumbling again? Oh, uh, uh, just in case, let's see what the internet has about ghosts. Just a second. I'm scolding the poochier for waking me up when I was dreaming about Manicotti. As I was saying, you woke me up with North. That was. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, do you remember I said we had a big chase scene on page nine? Uh-huh. This is page nine. <laughs> I still don't have a good idea for a new comic book. But at least the phone isn't ringing and there's nothing to disturb me. Ah! Except for my nutty cat and dog. Huh? What are you two doing? You two are acting like you saw a ghost. Huh? Huh? There's no such thing as ghosts. But he's right here. Open those overly large eyes of yours and take a look. He can't see me. I know there's no such thing as ghosts because I looked it up on the internet. And nothing you read on the internet is ever wrong. <laughs> now leave me alone so I can work. I still need an idea. Oh my. You saw the ghost. Uh-huh. I saw the ghost. Uh-huh. Why didn't he see the ghost? Because he couldn't. Human beings can't see ghost cats. We're only visible to other cats and pets of extremely low intelligence. I have to haunt this house for all eternity, or until I get a human to believe in those ghost cats. Well, isn't haunting a house a good job? No! It's boring. Especially when you go 50, 60 years with nobody inhabiting the house. I want to be with my friends, the other ghost cats. They've gone on to another, more interesting place. Huh? I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to scare that friend of yours until he believes in ghost cats. And I'll help you. Come on! Hmm, maybe a superhero who throws coleslaw at people. No, it's been done. Okay, I've got an idea. Now here's what you do. You come and send me a Yeah, that'll make him believe in ghost cats. <laughs> That's cute, Garfield. But it's not going to make me believe in ghosts. <laughs> That's not funny, Garfield! <laughs> 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 He's never gonna believe. We're not giving up. You need to be with your friends, and I need to be where there's Chinese food. <laughs> you can stop making those silly noises, Garfield. There are no ghosts. Uh -huh. uh... Please don't get my new shirt wrinkled, Garfield. And there are still no ghosts. <laughs> Very cute, Garfield. But there are still no ghosts. It says so on the internet, remember? It's no use. He'll never believe in ghost cats. Oh, yes he will. I'm gonna have a brilliant idea. You are? Yes. Let me just check the script and see what it's gonna be. Uh, can I borrow a copy of the script for this episode again, please? Scene 19, scene 20. Hey, that's a good idea I'm gonna have. Follow me. Thanks. John's not gonna believe in ghost cats until he sees a ghost cat. But he cannot see me. No, but he'll see me. Oh, it's no use. I'll just have to tell Mr. Barker I don't have an idea for a new comic book. It's, it's a ghost cat! It's a ghost cat! A human being believes in ghost cats. I'm free! Huh? 
So I'm up here in the mountains getting a look at this house I bought. One of my cartoonists is staying here and I... No! Oh! Ah, Buckle, what's the meaning of... A ghost cat! A spooky, terrifying ghost cat going boo, boo, boo! Hey, I'm sorry, Mr. Barker, that I haven't been able to come up with... Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. A ghost cat? That's a terrific idea for a new comic book. It is? Kids like ghosts, kids like cats. Ah, <laughs> Buckle, you're brilliant. So, according to the script, John sold his boss a new idea, and our friend the ghost cat is freed from haunting this place. Ah, <sighs> a happy ending. What? But not happy enough. Huh? Wide shot. Vito's pizza truck pulls up in front with loads of steaming hot pizzas for the clever cat. Hey, every script can use a few improvements here and there. Uh, -huh. uh keep scrubbing, Odie. <laughs> Now, Garfield, I know you're not going to like this, but Liz insists you have to lose 10 pounds. So we're putting you on a diet of carrot sticks and lettuce. <clears throat> now, before you say anything or throw a fit because it isn't pasta, please understand, we're doing this for your own good. <laughs> you understand? You're not going to put up a fight or steal the refrigerator or anything? Oh. <laughs> this is great! Let me get you some low-calorie salad dressing. Perfect. He'll be here in nine seconds. <laughs> Garfield, I'm so impressed with how well you're taking this. I guess I owe you an apology. Keep eating like that, Garfield, and you'll lose that ten pounds in no time. Uh, you need a napkin? I'll go get one. Just in time. The Chinese restaurant will be delivering in 11 seconds. <laughs> no, he hasn't lost any weight since his last visit. In fact, he's gained three more pounds. Uh, that's not possible. I've had him on a strict diet. <laughs> John, for his own good, you have to stop him from eating so much. I can't watch him every minute. I have work to do. <laughs> well, I may have just the solution. <laughs> an inventor with an overweight pussycat invented this. He calls it the motorized meow monitor. Motorized meow monitor? Uh, how does it work? I'll show you. This collar locks on. I'll give you a key so you can remove it after Garfield has lost 10 pounds. It contains a tracking device. Wherever Garfield goes, the robot will follow, train its camera on him, and send a signal back to you. Ah! Oh, this is amazing, Liz. I can sit at my own computer at home and keep an eye on Garfield, no matter where he goes and what he eats. You can borrow it, and I'll give you an extra collar just in case. This is not fair. It's an invasion of privacy. It's, it's spying. Get me an attorney. Get me an attorney named Murray. You have no right to... Huh? What's that you have in your hand there, Garfield? What do you have to say for yourself? Uh, want to lick? Oh. Going out, Garfield? Well, remember, you're still on that diet. You're not to eat anything. Not a crumb will cross these lips. Okay, so I'm lying. It's okay to lie if it's an emergency. And me not being able to eat between meals, if that's not an emergency, I don't know what is. <gasps> Vito savory pizza. I haven't tasted it for, oh, it must be a good six hours. But I will need a disguise. <laughs> I'll have the outfit back in five minutes or ten slices, whichever occurs first. Mamma mia! It is the Garfield Orange Alert! Everyone, go take the pizzas! Garfield? Where is that handsome cat? Oh, where? <laughs> 
Oh, there he is. Garfield, if you don't want I should call John, you're gonna promise me that you won't swipe any pizzas. On my honor as the star of a popular cartoon show, I promise. Excellent. You bust the pirate pussycat. You I didn't say anything about lasagna. You mozzarella mooching a man is. He only got eight of them. Oh, uh, only eight? That's not so bad. Last week, he got 17 and a gallon of spumoni. Ah, the perfect place to dine on nature's most perfect food. Ah. Garfield, I'm disappointed. So am I. I could only get eight. You're supposed to stay on your diet if you eat those lasagnas. All right, all right. I don't need to hear the cheap threat. I know it'll be cheap, and I know it's a threat. What are you doing? <laughs> My lasagna! Hey, what is wrong with it? Suddenly, Vito's lasagna, it is not good enough for you. Ooh. What are you doing? Ooh. I am in such trouble. Hey, it's just one cat who won't eat it. But that cat, he's eating everything. If he won't eat it, nobody will eat it. I have to change the recipe. There are donuts in the world, and pulled pork sandwiches, and fried shrimp the size of whales. But if John sees me eating any of it, I just have to make sure he doesn't see me eating. <laughs> That's my exercise for the year, and maybe next year, too. But it worked. I don't see that motorized meow monitor anywhere. Huh? One of everything. No, uh, make it two. Imagine John thinking a bucket of bolts could... <clears throat> what? Uh, keep those on ice for me. Garfield! Uh, I'll eat this in here where he can't see me. Phew! Even if that robot followed me in here, he couldn't shoot video to send back to John. It's too dark. <clears throat> It's no use. I'll never escape that robot. Huh? Well, at least this came off. Without it on, the motorized meow monitor won't be able to track me. Hmm. Wait a minute. John got an extra one. If I throw this one away, He'll just put the other one on me. There's got to be a way to get him to give this machine up. <gasps> and I think I know what it is. It's working out great, Liz. I can sit here at home, keep an eye on Garfield, and make sure he doesn't eat between meals. It's for his own good, but I'll bet he's not a happy cat. Not happy at all. It looks like he's wandered down to the waterfront. Oh, agony. Oh, despair. Oh, despair and agony. Oh, did I mention woe? Oh, despair, agony, and woe. Hours without lasagna. Days without pork chow mein and crispy noodles. How could John do this to me? <laughs> no. <laughs> he looks pretty upset that I'm denying him his favorite foods. You know, Garfield, that's just an act to get your sympathy. This doesn't look like an act. What's he doing now? <gasps> he's, he's heading out onto the pier. There's an ocean liner there. A big one. Liz, it looks like he's taking a last look around. Like he's leaving. Don't fall for it, John. Liz, he's getting on the boat. Liz, he's on the ship. Garfield is leaving. He's going to some other country. I've got to stop him. John? John! Ooh, I better get off before she sails. <laughs> John should be here in about 15 minutes. 10, if he makes all the lights. I gotta be in time. I just gotta be. 
What do you mean it's already sailed? My cat's on board. Get it back. Sorry, that ship's on its way to Tokyo. T -t 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 Tokyo? Well, he always did like salmon teriyaki. <sighs> oh, he really did it, Liz. Garfield's gone to Tokyo. I'll probably never see him again. I can't tell you how much I'm going to miss him. Sure you can. Just try. John, I'm really sorry how all this worked out. If you'd like to cancel our dinner tonight... No, no, I need to get my mind off my little, fat, furry friend. You know, I'd give anything to see him again. I wouldn't make him diet. I'd get him whatever he wanted. How about donuts from Dave's drive through Donut Diner? You want donuts, Garfield? Sure. Oh. You know, Liz, if he'd just come back from Tokyo, I'd... <laughs> Garfield! You didn't go to Tokyo, scaring me like that. You know what I ought to do? I ought to <sighs> get you those donuts. <laughs> and on the way home, we could stop at Vito's for pizza and at Irv's Taco Emporium. Oh. You seem to have enough food to tide you over while I take Liz to dinner. I'll be back around 10. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see you later. Bye. Hello, Pop. Hey, come on. We're gonna watch my favorite new show. I tried to get him to lose weight, Liz. Honest, I did. It's just that he's Garfield. I know. Could I have some more water, John? Sure. Let me pour it for you. I. Oops. Let me mop that up. Oh. oh. No. I'm sorry. Oh. oh. oh sorry again. Did you see where my pork chop went? <laughs> oh, John, you got ketchup all over me. <laughs> oh, well, that's better than last time when I spilled the mustard. <laughs> oh, I love watching John on a date. Where else are you going to find comedy like that? <sighs> hey, you hungry, Odie? <laughs> well, then, you better go get some food. <laughs> <laughs> Usually I eat and sleep all day, but today I think I'll sleep and eat just for a change. <gasps> but what if it's Monday? Monday, the worst day of the week. Monday, the day horrible things happen. Monday. <laughs> You get the concept? I don't like Mondays. Please don't let it be Monday. Please don't let it be Monday. <gasps> not Monday. All right. <sighs> Life could not better be. I'm healthy. <laughs> the refrigerator's filled with all my favorite food. And best of all, it's not Monday. I hope it'll be not Monday all year. So, what shall I do to celebrate it not being Monday? Hmm. I think I'll make myself two small sandwiches. On this show, these are considered small sandwiches. <laughs> yes, I am the luckiest cat in the world. Hey, laughing boy. What's with the long face? The sun is shining, the sandwiches are delicious, and best of all, it's not Monday. I have nothing to smile about. The world is rotten. Everything stinks. Huh? Hey, you have a nice day too. Well, as I was saying, I am the luckiest cat in the world. <laughs> uh, the people who make rakes should recall them all to the factory. Those things are dangerous. <sighs> now to watch my favorite TV show, The Wrong and the Tasteless. 
The wrong and the tasteless will not be seen today, so we may bring you the nine-hour award-winning documentary, Your Friend, The Raisin. Uh, what? <laughs> you stupid television? I want to see my show. Put it on! Put it on! Hmm. Hey, I never noticed this warning label before. Caution, do not pound on the TV or it may explode. Okay, so maybe it isn't the greatest day. Hi, Garfield. You don't look so happy. That might be because I'm not so happy, but I was. Things were so perfect. Hmm. You didn't by any chance see a black cat go by, did you? <gasps> yeah, a little while ago. Real sad guy looked kind of like this. Uh-huh. Jonah. Oh, Jonah? He's a jinx, that guy. Once he crosses your path, it's bad luck forever, and there's nothing you can do about it. In fact, I shouldn't even be around you. Hey, there's no such thing as jinxes and bad luck. Hey, look, I'm standing right here and nothing around. What could happen to me? I don't know, but something will. What? Do you think a meteor is just gonna drop out of the sky on me? <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> It could have happened to anybody. Listen, Garfield, I think it'd be safer to be a little farther away from you. How far? Well, I hear Argentina is lovely this time of year. Help! Get me away from this guy! Somebody save me! I wish I could run away from me like that. Oh, I'm having a lot of bad luck. What I need is a good luck charm. I think there's one in the basement. John left some sort of good luck charm down here. Like a four-leaf clover or a rabbit's foot. Ah, here's one. His old horseshoe. <clears throat> to get the maximum luck from a lucky horseshoe, kiss it and throw it over your left shoulder. Hey, I don't believe in this stuff either, but it's worth a try. Mwah. Hey, what's that buzzing? Sounds like someone dislodged a nest of angry hornets. Hey, no wonder it sounds like someone dislodged a nest of angry hornets. Phew. Well, apart from the fact that it stinks in here, and safe. Actually, it doesn't smell that bad. It smells kind of like John's old meatloaf. Ah, this is John's old meatloaf. You know, with a little ketchup, this wouldn't be half bad. Hey, didn't you see the sign that says Occupy? I am not having a good day. Stopped. At last, maybe I'll get out of here. Huh? Whoa! Ah! Hey. Oh. oh, I've got to find that black cat and get him to undo this bad luck curse. Oh. I am going to find him, and nothing is going to stop me. That was a flower pot. That was a hammer. <laughs> oh. Oh. That was a recurring character. <laughs> if I don't find Jonah Pronto, I'm toast. Problem is, with my bad luck, I'm never going to find him. Unless... <laughs> huh? I'll bet Jonah crossed lots of people's paths. So all I have to do is follow the trail of bad luck. Yep, the jinx came this way. I'm getting closer and luckier. 
It's been a whole minute since I've had any bad luck. Maybe I'm no longer cursed. Boy, imagine how bad a day this would be if it was Monday. <laughs> My God! Ah, it's no use. I'll never find him. I'll have bad luck the rest of my life, which at this rate won't be very long. But maybe not. <laughs> Jonah, I found you at last. Don't tell me, let me guess. Since I crossed your path, you've had nothing but bad luck. Bingo! Hey, lift the curse, please. I would if I could, but I can't. I've been this way, spreading bad luck since the day I got gloomy. That was the day she dumped me. Who dumped you? Mindy. She was my girlfriend. The only woman I ever loved. Well, maybe if we get the two of you back together, you'll cheer up and the curse will be lifted. You can take her some fruit. Oh, forget it. She won't have me. She made that very clear. Well, maybe I can make her change her mind. Come on, let's go find her. <laughs> Kajuna, would you mind helping me out? Usually, she comes out now for her evening stroll. Well, I sure hope so. Want a grapefruit? Is that her? Yes. <gasps> Isn't she beautiful? Jonah, what are you doing here? I said I never wanted to see you again. <clears throat> Can't you give a guy a chance? Oh, look at him. He's such a downer. He's always gloomy and he never smiles. I got the press beat around him. Now go away, both of you. Here, maybe a slice of grapefruit will cheer you up. Not true, Mindy. Jonah does smile. <laughs> Look at him. Wow. He looks so handsome with a smile on his face. Okay, now tell her you love her. I love her, Cindy. I can't really talk to her. Oh, Jonah, I didn't understand a word. But I'm so pleased to see a beautiful smile. All is forgiven. Well done, Joni. You did it. Whoops, you swallowed your smile. I should have known it wouldn't last. You can't help being gloomy, can you? Ah, he'll never change. And since he'll never change, my luck will never change. You think he's gloomy? You should see how I feel. <sighs> Goodbye. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> oh my! It's the first time I've seen you laugh, Jonah! Well, I think it's the first time I have laughed. And you know what? <laughs> it feels good! Oh, Jonah! Maybe we could be together again. Wow! My luck is really changing! <sighs> I hope mine does. So this all happened last night? Yep, Jonah and Mindy got back together, and he got happy and he stopped being a jinx, and my bad luck went away. That's terrific, Garfield. Congrats. Garfield, what happened? I thought the jinx of Jonah was lifted. It is, unfortunately. Now it's Monday. Oh, I hate Monday. Hello there. If you're waiting for something exciting to happen, forget it. This is an 11 and a half minute cartoon and I'm gonna take an 11 and a half minute nap. Oh, and Odie's not here. He's visiting John's brother out at the farm. <sighs> oh, and John's at work so nothing can bother me. <sighs> Garfield! Wait till you see what I've got here. <sighs> I don't know what it is, but I'll bet it's a storyline. 
I brought you a new friend. Thought you could use the company while Odie is staying at Doc Boy's farm. <laughs> John thinks I'm missing this. And this. And this. My editor is out of town, but he's letting me take care of... Ta-da! His parrot, Paxton! <laughs> Aren't you excited, Garfield? Paxton talks. Go ahead, Paxton. Say something. You call this a house? It looks like it was built to store fertilizer for the rest of the world. Uh, <laughs> and this furniture. If you ever want to get rid of it, you'll have to have it reupholstered before the dump will accept it. My editor left the country and didn't take Paxton along. I can see why. Well, I'll let you guys get to know each other. I have work to do. So, Garfield, what do you do all day? A lot of this. At first, I didn't know it was a cat. I thought it was a hairy basketball. That's right. I'm taking care of my boss's parrot, Doc Boy. Hey, how's Odie? As you can hear, he's doing great. So, what's this parrot like? Well, he's kind of funny in his own odd way. Right now, he's probably spreading joy all over the neighborhood. Did you know that 62.3% of all mail contains bad news? No, I didn't know. I've been delivering mail for 37 years. Well, don't worry. You won't have that job much longer. Email is already making you obsolete. It is. I'll be bringing Odie home later today. Okay, I gotta go. I think my mail's here. See you later, Doc Boy. <laughs> Hello? Don't call me Doc Boy! What was I going to do next? Oh, right, the mail. <laughs> Herman, what's wrong? <laughs> Here's your mail, Mr. Arbuckle. I'm sorry, 62.3% of it is bad news. But don't worry, I won't have this job much longer. I'm obsolete. <laughs> Did you hear something? If I didn't know better, I'd think it sounds like mice crying. <laughs> and have you seen what they're putting in cheese these days? Plus, they're building better mouse traps. I'm just saying. <laughs> and remember, even though Garfield won't eat you, there are plenty of cats out there who will. Paxton, why do you always look at the bad side of everything? Why? Why? Come on, I'll show you why. Watch this. Good afternoon. It's 4 o'clock, and I'm Sylvia Tuba Player with the 6 o'clock news. Our top headlines. Today in the world, this happened. <gasps> and in another part of the world, this happened. <gasps> and in several other parts of the world, this happened. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the stock market. Just trust me. You don't want to know. <laughs> Oh, that's so depressing. I'll call Liz and see what she recommends. Haven't you ever had fun? Haven't you ever laughed? Well, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make you laugh. Music, maestro. Wasn't that hilarious? Laugh! I thought I'd never start! You should leave comedy to the pros and stick to 
what you do best. You are about to become an ex-parrot. Liz suggests we take him to Dr. Whipple. You're not taking me to any doctor. <laughs> Wait! Come back! Good riddance. Having him around was too depressing. Oh, if I lose my boss's parrot, he'll fire me! That's even more depressing. Oh, uh, search the neighborhood. I'll go this way, you go that way. <laughs> we just need to follow the trail of depressed people. <laughs> it's just awful. A parrot told me that I, the core man with a capital G, the world's most famous food critic, is grossly overweight, maybe a few pounds. Oh, it's awful. A parrot just told me that I'm putting on so much weight. I've started to look like Eddie Gourmand, the world's famous food critic. Oh, it's awful. A parrot just told me that I'm annoying and conceited and that I make some people physically sick just to have me around. Hey, when he's right, he's right. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much mercury in a fish, you can take your temperature with a hell of it. I never knew everything was so awful. <laughs> oh, not only that, but the air that we... <laughs> We're taking you to see Dr. Whipple. And if you're nice, John will buy you some ice cream. Oh, great. I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> Now, just lie there and tell me how you got to be so utterly and totally negative. Well, I guess it all started when I was an egg. Mm hmm, mm hmm. My mother started passing out recipes for omelets. What? That's awful. Dr. Whipple will cure Paxton's down in the mouth outlook. He's a brilliant man and very strong. Here, <laughs> take this poor parrot home. I can't help him. Oh. I can't even help myself. <laughs> oh, this is... this is terrible. Hey, if you really feel like crying, wait till you see the bill you're gonna get for this. Uh. <laughs> and... Not only is this planet doomed, but have you seen the full TV schedule? <laughs> Even massive quantities of lasagna couldn't cheer me up now. Can't you think good thoughts about anything? What? <laughs> Name me one thing in this world that's pure and innocent and happy. Huh? John, I brought Odie back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm glad to see you too, boy. <laughs> hey, even I'll admit I'm glad to see you too. Huh? Odie, this is our new friend Paxton the Parrot. Hey, 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 knock it off, mutt! You don't know where that tug's been. It's unsanitary. It's messy. It's it's uh, it's kind of nice in a way. <laughs> hey, is he always this happy? Hey, you think this is happy? Try throwing a stick he can fetch. He'll be your best friend forever. Oh, gee, I never had a best friend. I never had a friend of any kind. Huh? Ah. Looks like you've got one now. What's this all about, John? I'm not sure. <laughs> it's about a parrot who's finding a whole new way to look at the world. Wow! It's been six months since my boss took Paxton back, and now I can't believe that parrot has his own TV show. What's so odd about that? I have my own TV show, and a darn good one at that. 
And now, here he is, the most popular motivational speaker parrot in the entire world, Paxton. Oh, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yep, beautiful. And you know what else is, people? Life is. You just have to know where to look. I'll be talking about that on today's show, about how there's wonderment and love and happiness out there if you just let it in. But first, I want to dedicate tonight's show to my best friend forever, Odie the Puppy. Hiya, Odie! Odie, that's you! Well, the 11 and a half minutes is almost up, so this is the end of the cartoon. I'll just add that Paxton's right. Life is great. But it's even better with pizza. Consider how amazing the Earth is. How fascinating each and every person on it can be. 